a comment on YouTube that says, I came for the snake info, but I stayed for the fox. <laughs> There you go. So the people like the fucked, and I have to tell your mom. The market has spoken. I have to get your mom out of my head and stop being narc about fucks. Because I say fuck all the fucking time, but yeah. Yeah, fuck it. We're f fuck it. Oh, we're saying on the YouTube channel now, too. Oh, well, my the God. On the YouTube. Oh, my God. I'm going to say this to your mom. Not family friendly. There's enough family friendly uh, folks on YouTube. Time to take it back. Everyone else bleeps it out. Yeah, that's it. We're bringing it home with the fox. <laughs> I'm sending it to the mo your mom. Here we go. You see right there. Where her little abscess is. So we have it right there on that bowl. I'm going to try to uh, use that bowl to my advantage. Not get bit today. Ooh. Girly, girly, girly. Guess I wasn't too bad. What is up team? Uh, we are headed to the vet. A uh, large reason why I wanted to take you guys on this little uh, adventure is because I don't think people say enough, you know, the different things that happen when you keep reptiles. In fact, the fact that they're animals and you know, stuff is going to happen. You're gonna to have to go to vets. Um, it doesn't mean you're a bad keeper. Um, it just happens. Like this, uh, there was no sign of that this abscess was gonna happen. Probably just like a, uh, maybe an infected tooth or something like that. There's something that's kind of unavoidable. Do you think that's from like a tooth or something when she ate last or? I'm gonna say yes to anything that she's, I mean it could be. Oh, it doesn't look like an off rod but you've got something in there. It doesn't look like pneumonia or anything. Oh, hey, uh, I'll quit that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Here, let go. Quit. Don't be a snake. Okay. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Thank you. No, we're good. It's all needed. It's hard to say exactly why. Uh, you've got like an infection in there. Uh, what kind of? What kind, Where do you keep her? What kind of? What kind um, of she of, was on like coconut husk bedding. Yeah. I mean, the reason I'm saying that is, uh, in other words, something hard. She could have struck at something. Something kind of like got like a splinter. Mm -hmm. you, know, you kind of wonder, uh, you're feeding live frozen? Uh, frozen. Frozen, okay. Maybe some splinter stuff got on the, the rat and stuff. And then, you know I mean, when she clamped down on it, she actually got a splinter into her, like here on the side. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so what do we do? Um, I need to put her on some antibiotics. I'm saying it because I've given injections. Yeah, because That's they're injections, right? Yeah. Well, they're much easier. I mean, they're easier of two people. I'm clear up. I mean, without any problem. It doesn't look like mouth rot. Um, if it was a nice snake, I'd have you something to put in the mouth orally. But I mean, she'll, she'll bite you. 
Yeah. I mean, she, she's, I think yeah. what happens is also, I mean, uh, you know, it's swollen and, uh, you know, it probably hurts. She's a lot more defensive about it because I've been taking her out because she was on the coconut husk, so I uh -huh. took her out and cleaned her mouth out and stuff like that. And I had to do that a couple times until I put her on paper towel, but... So like ever since then, I think that just stressed her out, and she's like, "If you go anywhere near my head, I'm just yeah. gonna." Yeah, and look. so I uh, would treat topically, but that's one reason I'm going to injectable. So it just take care of it uh, because the well, I don't think the topical is going to cut it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're pretty neat. I mean, they're yeah. pretty neat. I don't mean it's bad. I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've ever messed with one of them before, but they're they're a neat snake. Yeah, it's fine. They, they look neat. So don't hit the backbone. Just go right beside it. Uh, just in case it gives a little black spot, just kind of hit there, see right beside it, you're underneath the skin, and just gently put it in. See like that? Take it out, put your, put your little finger on the little dot there, because <laughs> they don't shut down real well. In other words, the skin's not like yours and mine. Mm -hmm. And do so that. So just kind of be caught there. Yeah, a little there. that's all you gotta do. Every other day. We have seven injections, but he said we're only gonna have to give five, but cefazoline injections. It was really only $111, which that may seem a lot to some people, but you spend, you know, I know people who spend $1,000 on an animal and they don't bring it to the vet. It's like, you're protecting your $1,000 investment or even just your pet, so. What is $111 compared to the $1,000 that you paid for that animal? Here is a necessity for any podcast to do any podcast. I just think there's there's too much bullshit out there. You know, there's not enough the real stuff. Like no one talks about what goes into it. No one talks about the actual money. Half the people will say that the market's terrible. Half the people say that it's great. Half the people say that they're rich. Half the people say that they're poor. What the fuck's the truth? So I want to show like just the truth. That truth is just everything. Yeah. People who are listening to this are very specifically into snakes and mm -hmm. into like the shit that we're talking about. You know, that's like a big group that you can name a crap ton of snakes on. She's a big We're like characters on. from or char Rachel you know, Ross. Barney Stinson. Barney. That'd be a great one. Or like the pussiest one would be named what this Ted. Ted. No, uh, I would never name it. Oh my god. Ted's the worst. Yeah, he wouldn't breed. <laughs> What did you think about that podcast? I honestly, I mean, I don't know why it felt like one of the best ones yet to me. It felt very easy, and I think the questions helped. I want more people to watch and to comment questions because I, it gets us, it lets us know what people are thinking and what yeah. If about. we did it, if we did it at five every Tuesday, and had people actually listen in at five, we could probably get it going a lot. But I wonder if at five is the when people are going home. Yeah, but we got good traction today. If you've never uh, listened to the podcast, anything like that, we do it live on usually Facebook that decided to like crash on us two times in a row, but we do it on Instagram and YouTube. So uh, definitely check it out and hit us with questions. Usually it's, it's uh, we have the YouTube up and everything uh, ready for comments and we'll just kind of go through questions. Today we had a topic on like vet 
and uh, veterinary visit, but we ended up riffing on like different shit for like 50 minutes of it. So it was mostly just all different questions and different uh, subjects that we got into. If that podcast didn't get us 100 subscribers, I don't know what we're gonna have to do. We are at 99, I really hope this got us 100. You're such a, she's lying to you. This isn't real time, it's fake. No one else would know that I was, that I was redoing that. Oh, well, you're not gonna fool me. Well, we're at 100, so yay. <laughs> this is fake, we already Woo. saw this. This is fake. Woo. I know that that's like not really a big deal at all, but, but it if you think about it, if you talk to I'm posting videos every day, so it's like talking to a room of a hundred people every single day. Isn't that weird? Like, you think about that. When I put out videos, it's like doing a presentation for a room full of a hundred people. Is that crazy? So, if you have like 60,000 subscribers, that's like selling out a stadium every day. What do you think about that? Huh? Thoughts? Okay, or not. Or read comments. Oh, I thought you were talking to the people who watch the video thoughts on talking to a hundred people every day. Yeah. I mean, that's what, what it do is. you have to say? You're, you're reaching out to a bunch of people, so us getting the subscribers. This light's really good, like right from this angle. Awesome. I think you're being sarcastic. No, it is good um, though. Like just look. the fact that people. Nope. Well, it's good. Like. I was showing myself. Um, the fact that people like what you're putting out there and that they want to know when it's coming out and keep coming back, I think is awesome. Um, let's just not put me in here. I'm gonna hate this video. I hope you know that. You always do. I'm, yeah, I just I need to- 100! Woohoo! Okay, what do you want to say back to Sterling? Like it? Give Sterling a shout out in the- He's our dedicated- we have some dedicated followers that we like and wanna- Knowledge them. Sterling you Archer. I don't know if it's the official Sterling Archer or not. Um, if it is the official Sterling Archer, I like your vo voice better on Bob's Burgers. So. He's on Bob's Burgers. You know, it's Bob voice. Bob. It's the same guy who does the voice for him. Archer and Bob is. This, that's why. That I watch neither of those shows. That's so. one of. I mean, I don't like Archer because I don't like crude humor. But yeah. one of the main reasons I can't even get into Archer is because it's Bob's voice and it just. Fox with my head. Like it's, he's Bob, it's Bob. Bob Belcher, not oh. Sterling Archer.